The Synthesis of Indigo Attention! Two nitrobenzaldehyde is toxic if swallowed and can cause severe irritation of the eyes, skin and respiratory tract. Sodium hydroxide can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. Acetone and ethanol are flammable and can cause drowsiness. Diethyl ether is highly flammable and can cause drowsiness too. Indigo can cause irritation of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First, one gram of two nitrobenz aldehyde and a steering bar are added to a 50 milliliter beaker that is placed on a steering plate. Then 10 milliliters of acetone are added and the mixture is stirred until everything has dissolved. To the solution, 5 ml of distilled water are added. If this causes the solution to become turbid, acetone can be added until it becomes clear again. At the end, 4 ml of a 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide are added quickly with a pipette. Immediately, a reaction takes place and the solution turns dark. It is then stirred for 5 minutes until the reaction has finished. The acetone reacts with a 2 nitrobenzaldehyde, which is catalyzed by a base and forms indigo after several steps. This precipitates out of the solution and sometimes forms large shiny crystals. Then the indigo can be filtered off. A vacuum filtration is recommended as it would be faster and lead to a cleaner product. It is then washed with a few milliliters of ethanol and after that with a few milliliters of diethyl ether. The funnel has to be covered because the ether would evaporate too fast within the gravity filtration. 0.5 grams of indigo were obtained which corresponds to a yield of 58%. This was the synthesis of indigo. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.